Yeah. So in Pakistan, they made it like inside the background. Still, they were able to do the corruption from that. Like people. Oh, trying to like take free electricity. <laughs> you know, they have everything to make it possible. Deep for stealing electricity. Yeah, so much. The government in Iraq tried to help farmers for like for a period of time. So they told them like, just do the farming. We're gonna buy it from you for like the double of the, the price or something. So other parts of the government start started buying from other countries like Turkey and Syria and sell it to the Iraqi government again. Because they buy it from Syria or Turkey like cheap, and then they get double the money with with the Iraqi government. They don't lose anything. The same thing we have after. Terrible. But that's 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 that happens everywhere in the world. Right. It's not, not, that in much, not that obvious, like no one cares. I mean. Yeah, I guess it's just maybe less obvious or different different Did you purposes. Ever see a no, well yeah, but not because of corruptions. In Ireland it's a different thing, you know. Um there are different cases of corruption, but they have to do more with, um, it's more to do with property, <coughs> you know. Like, for example, one good example would be, you know, in Dublin there's different prices for different areas. Yeah. So one developer who's building some homes in one area that was at the edge of the area, the boundary, he pays uh, a lot of money to a politician so that the boundary could be changed slightly, so the houses would be counted as being in the next Dublin, which has a prior price, so then the price increased by 10,000 on each home, because people are very, what's the word, like, they're very, they care a lot about what their address is, if it says like Dublin 8 or Dublin 6. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. In Ireland. So if your address can say, you know, Dublin 6. Finglas, oh, Finglas. Yeah, if it says Dublin 6 <coughs> instead of, say, Dublin 8, then you're willing to pay a little bit more to have that in your address. You know, which just seems kind of, to me, silly. Because I have, you know, what difference, what difference does it make? But People are like that here. So that's the type of corruption, you know, to do with houses. It's cute type of corruption. Cute yeah. type. <laughs> yeah. And what's the other one? Uh, and the other one is just kind of the regular stuff when you're a government worker just having your family get jobs, you know. Like, it's so common for a politician to have his wife as the secretary. You know what I mean? We don't even like consider that as corruption. Yesterday yesterday the guy in Pakistan like he was at the post of Syria. Like Syria is the student officer. Yeah. He had more money than all of us here. Like their father if he can combine combine the money. He was having more than that money. The, the catch in this way, but nothing will happen to him. Catch him where? In Pakistan. He was having more money than all of us. Like, like yeah. yeah. He was at the post office. Yeah, like, he was student yeah, officer. Yeah, but what was the He was a student officer. Yeah, and you know. And he was taking like, money from students? Yeah, like from corruption up and down, like. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Everything. Jaffers. Jaffers. Uh, yeah, the politicians are the same everywhere. You can't trust them. Uh, okay, current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. <coughs> so we're still talking about magnetic fields. I'm still amazed by this weather. It was so sunny when I walked here. Amazing. Uh, okay, do you have this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so next now. Uh, a couple of new formulas we'll have a look at. So, you know, we were talking about this only recently, if you have a magnetic field and a current, then you get a force, using your left hand here. Um, field, current, force. And this is, there's nothing new here with this. 
So, a moving charge will experience force, but so will a current. Because remember, a current is just charge per time. So we want to find a new formula for when it's a current instead of, uh, instead of just a single electron. Because, you know, the examples we've done so far have just been like an electron or a proton. But what about if there's a current? So it's not too difficult to prove the formula. We have the formula F equals QVB. Yes. But you uh, might remember the formula for I is Q over T. So then Q equals IT. So then you get ITVB. But actually you can simplify this because if you think about it, <coughs> and here's the current, and the, let's say the wire has a length L, and the V is the velocity of the electrons in the current. If you think about your distance, speed, time, um, you could say um, time is distance over speed. So you could change the time. Uh, sorry, the uh, I mean, yeah, sorry, the T can be changed into distance, which is L over speed which is V and you still have a V here the V is cancelled yeah so you're left with ILB or as I often just say BIL because then it spells something there and um, so in other words if this is the magnetic field and this is the current and this is the length of the wire for the current then the force on the wire will be this much so if I just go back to the picture here, you have a current I in a wire, and the wire's length is L, and the magnetic field um, is B. How much force is on the wire? And the answer is this much. In the exam, uh, I think you, yeah, just the conclusion, but the proof isn't that long. You have this? Yes. You have this? Uh, I can continue? Yeah? Yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we get the formula F equals BIL. In this formula, the cur again, the current is perpendicular. Everything here is uh, perpendicular. Uh, if it was not perpendicular, then um, let's imagine it was angle theta. Uh, let's see what the formula is. So, <coughs> if it was not perpen if the current is not perpendicular to the field, if it was angle theta, let's see what we have. So, we'll, I'll just try my best to draw this in three dimensions. The field, the field is going this way. We'll say. Here and here is the force. So this should be 90 degrees. Let's imagine it's not 90 degrees. Let's say it's at a different angle now, theta. So it's hard to draw this in three <coughs> dimensions, but I'll try and just put in an x, y. So if it was 90 degrees, it should have been here. But it's not, it's been moved in a bit closer to the field. Yeah? So what do you think you might do in that situation? Well, kind of like what you were doing in mechanics. What should you do when you have an angle? Yeah, so this part here is not what we care about. We want to know how much is it here on the perpendicular. 
So if this one is with the teeth, then what side is this? Cos. So this one here, the current has a sine theta. Why sine? Always that. Not, not what I taught you. What did I teach you in class? Thank you. I never ever said the horizontal is cos. You taught that. I never said that. I always say the angle, the side touching the angle is the cos and the other one is the sine. This is the Stephen way. Now, you might say, why don't we care about this one here? Well, the reason is, can you look up, please, Adnan? The reason is, when you look at the left-hand rule, you want everything to be perpendicular. Okay? So, it's only the perpendicular part that you care about. This should remind you a little bit about turning force. You don't care about the force that goes through the turning point, only the one that's perpendicular to it. It's the same idea. So the only difference in the formula now is that you have a sine theta, in, uh, whereas previously you didn't. So, when it's at an angle, just have a sine theta in it. That's all. Continue. Now, this fact that if you have a wire in a magnetic field, it feels a force, is a very useful fact because it can let you make something called a DC motor. Um, this is a DC motor. Yeah? Questions? No. Okay. Now, before you draw this, and you do need to draw this, I know, because they sometimes ask for it in the exam. <coughs> before you draw it, we just must be very clear about what's happening here. So, you have your current. Current comes out of the battery, moves along here, and uh, enters this brush. And the brush rubs against this wheel. And both of these are conductors, so the current moves into the wheel. Now, what I hope you can see is, you see this small gap here? Mm -hmm. That's on purpose. It's very important that it's not connected. This means the current will not travel here. It has to travel around here. Back into this brush, back into the battery. This current here is in a magnetic field. Let's check which way the force will act on the wire. The field. Which way is the field moving here? What's the direction of the field? Describe it to me. The magnetic field is... Not yeah, yeah, but describe it like up, down, left, right, in, out. Which way is it moving? To the left. From to the left. Right. From north to south. So, this one here is the field. We'll point it to the window. Now, which way is the current pointing? In or out to the board? In. So which way is the force on the wire? Up. Like on the picture. Can you see it? The little red arrow? Yeah. Now, let's look at the second one. Which way is the field? The same. Which way is the current? Yeah. The other way. So which way is the force? Yeah. Down. So if you have one force going up here and one force going down, the result is it will want to turn. Yeah? <coughs> The left hand. I know how this is. Okay. Which way is the field going? Field. Window. Which way is the current going? No, look at the picture. Current. Current. Down. What do you mean how? There it is right there, pointing in. I don't understand. What's your question? Give me a sentence. How did you know the ground is going that way? Because I use my eyes and I can see it's pointing here, going into the board. Can you see? 
Maybe you're not seeing it. Can you, the current comes along here and it's going this way. See the eye there? Are you sure you see the eye? So which way is it going? In. And then which way is it going here? Out. So field, current, force goes up. And then on the other one, field, current, force goes down. So, force goes up here, force goes down here, so this will turn. Basically, you've just made an electric motor. It's going to spin a wheel. Yeah. Now, why do you think I use a brush here and not just connect the wire? Why don't I just clip the wire on? Why do I have this brush instead of a wire? And then the field, the current won't go through the No, no, I mean, like, this is, this is not pinned onto the wheel. It's brushing against it. Do you know what I mean by, by brush? Like, uh, like, this is the wheel and this is the brush, so it's just... Uh, brushing against the wheel. It's not actually pinned onto the wheel. Why do I do that? Yeah, but why? What, like, why can't I just pin it on? Why can't I just take the wire and click it on? No, you're thinking too... It's a simpler reason than that, a practical reason. If you clip the wire onto it, as the wheel turns, the wire will wrap around it. And then once you run out of wire, it stops. The wire is going to tangle up around the wheel if it's pinned on. You have to use some kind of brush. Usually these brushes are made out of something like carbon, which as we saw before is a conductor. So this is typically a carbon brush. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry to tell you, they can sometimes ask you to draw this. So you need to do your best artwork and draw this in your notebook. Um, this word here, commuter, that's the name of this uh, special wheel here that's connected to the carbon brush. It's important uh, there's a gap in the middle here. Stop raining now, at least. Is anyone going into the parade tomorrow? City centre? Yeah. There'll be one in my town. There's like a big one in the city centre, and then there's like lots of small ones in towns, small towns, you know. So, what time is it? 
the, you want to go early to get a good spot. It's in Dempsey. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, no, both sides, the Liffey. It starts on the top of O'Connell Street, goes south over the Liffey, and then around the corner past the Central Bank. And then I think it finishes maybe at like, you know, Christchurch, the cathedral near the school. Mm-hmm. I think, I don't know the route. How early? Do you know? To get a good spot? Oh, I'd say you'd want to be there at like 9 o'clock. No, no there's buses, but they won't go to the city centre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> and don't even think about trying to drive and park in the city centre. Yeah. Don't even think about it. You will not get a parking spot. It will be just too busy. Because there will be people coming in from like America and you know, it just, it will be too busy. It'll I can walk to the city centre. Yeah, I know rock lines, you can easily walk to the city centre. Are you going? No! How many times will you be in Ireland to watch St. Patrick's Day Parade? Is it every five years or? Every year. Well, they say here for five years. Next year then, maybe. Is that an alien or something? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, it's fine, yeah. Any St. Patrick's Day parade in Iraq? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> or uh, Pakistan? Yeah, they have. You do? Yeah. Not like not big like because they have some community of Oh yeah, okay. What about in Sudan? No. No? Iyad? No St. Patrick's Day parade? How? There's Irish people in Saudi. Yeah, they can I suppose it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Although it's more of a national day than a religious day. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It needs to be renamed like Ireland Day or something. Irish Day. Something like this. Yeah, Friday yeah. was yesterday. Nobody yeah. said, wasn't it? Yeah. Two days ago, I think. Two days ago. Oh yeah, no, nobody, Friday. nobody said Happy Pi Day to me. <coughs> <coughs> Should have. Yeah, mm, let's wait till next year. All right, did you draw that now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to go on, Mayor. Okay, like Take a picture. Okay. Right, let's calculate a formula now for the torque on the wheel. You see this wheel here? So, um, I'll just draw this piece here. So you had your rectangle like this and it was turning around. So you know this could be connected to like a wheel. And there's a force going up here and a force going down here. Do you remember the formula for torque? This is actually called a couple. Do you remember this? Yeah. So it is the force by the diameter. So I don't know, if you call this like X and this like Y or something, then uh, this will be um, uh, F, which we have a formula for. Um, it's, well, you know what, let me call this L and I'll call this D. Um, torque is force times the diameter. The F is B, I, L, and then the D here. Uh, but what's L times D? Oh. Area. Yeah. B, I, A. These aren't necessarily <coughs> the same, Adnan. This one often is longer than this one here. So we have this formula. Now, there is another thing. You can make the torque greater if you have the wire, rather than wrapping it around once, 
you would have the wire and you would wrap it around you know what I mean, many times because each wire gets the force so if you wrap it around n times then you make n forces one on each wire so um, we can multiply by n for the number of what's called loops yeah and um, so I often rewrite this as IBAN like in the bank or yeah or AIB yeah yeah yes turn in force um, so this is another formula to calculate I'm uh, sorry this is the formula to calculate turn in force on the DC motor Got that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mushri? Mm -hmm. Continuing. So we get the formula torque is I band. Mm. Okay, now remember that flux was over some region of space. Do you remember it's a number of flux lines per area? Uh, it's the number of magnetic field lines uh, over a particular region. However, imagine now that the field passes through n identical regions we're interested in. So there's, there's nothing special happening here. You remember uh, last time, for example, here is the area, <coughs> and let's say there's two field lines passing through it. Uh, what's the flux here? It's two. Do you remember the unit's name? Weber's, very good. Two Weber's. Okay. Now, instead of having one area, A, let's imagine we have a few areas together. So let's say we have N. Well, then the total flux in this case will be two Weber's, two Weber's, and two Weber's. So six here. In other words, it would just be N times, the, sorry, the total flux would be n times the flux for one of the areas. And you might say that's nothing special, that's kind of obvious. But the reason I'm doing it is because this total actually isn't called total, it has a special name uh, called flux linkage. So if you ever see this word linkage, it's just a very fancy way of saying total flux. Now I'm simplifying slightly no, that's not true. I'm simplifying a lot, but for the IFY and the exam, that's how you can think about it. But it's, I, <coughs> my understanding is it's not quite like this, but that's how we can think about it on the IFY. That linkage is just means the total flux then. So, I don't even know if I wrote that down as a formula. I did. Yeah. Yes, and the other thing, uh, sorry, just before you write that down, we also had the formula that flux density was flux over area. So flux is B multiplied by A. So you could put that into the formula here and get N B A then. So we have a formula for calculating the total flux. It's N times the flux or just N times B times A. Yeah. You got that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, if the field makes an angle theta with the normal 
of the region of space. So I better draw that carefully. Um, let's say the field is going left to right, we'll keep it easy. And here, it's, remember we care about it being at right angles, so here it should be like at right angles. And then we have this formula, um, let's just do it for 1 rather than for n. It would just be 1 BA, so just BA. Okay. But now let's put this at a bit of an angle. Uh, if I can, oh, uh, if I can try and draw this at an angle. And the theta <coughs> is with the normal of the region of space and the field. So if I can draw this here, do you remember normal? Normal means perpendicular. So um, remember when we were talking about the reflected refracted light. Um, you measure with the normal, the angles. So normal means perpendicular to the line. So here, uh, the normal should be in the same direction of the field. In this example here, it's at an angle. And the angle here, I call it uh, theta. Is OK so far? Theta is with the normal and with the field. So in this picture here, theta is like zero because the normal and the field line up. Whereas in the other picture, theta is not zero because it's not lined up with the field. So we need to work out what happens here. So again, we need to resolve it. Um, I'll try and do that in red for you. Uh, so we need to resolve it um, this way and this way. Which one is the one we're looking for? The horizontal or the vertical? And just look at the previous picture for what it should be. We're looking at the horizontal, very good. So is that cos or sine? Cos. So if it's at an angle, the only difference is we have a cos theta in the formula. Not unusual here. So the formula, if it's at an angle, is this. Finally, the total flux is also called the linkage, <coughs> and in brackets, mostly. As I said earlier, I'm simplifying here. Okay, uh, continue to the next slide. Yes. Okay, so we have our uh, first question here. I've got two exam three examples to do. So anyway, um, the first one is nice and straightforward. You have the current, you have the length, and you have the flux density. So do you remember the formula for the force? It's BIL. So you can tell me what it is here, please. BIL. And I'll open up the calculator. You have it already? So that's 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 3 gives you... 1.2. All right, so 1.2 newtons is the A part. No, 20 centimeters. Yeah. Okay, that was easy, wasn't it? Uh, and can you give me? So earlier in the tutorial earlier today, it took me a while to find the question uh, that we could do in the exam because this is the one that they like to ask the most. The uh, the Bill formula and the I band formula. Um, okay, what about if it's at an angle of uh, 80? So that's the formula B I L is a cos or sine? Sine 80 degrees. So this time, what do you get? Yeah. No, no, no. 
You're in regular mode, he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, it's just 1.2 oh, one one times. Two yeah. Uh, 1.8. Less. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's okay as the first example, right? Uh, let's have a look at the next one. So again, I've given you the formulas. What's the current here? Tray. Uh, the flux of the magnet in the motor? Five. How many times is the wire wrapped around and the armature? How many times? A thousand. What's the shape of the armature? It's a square of length 20. So you can work out the area because it would be 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2. Uh, maybe not quite that. The formula torque is I band, which is 3 times 5 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 1000. You, what did you get the other? 600 newton meters. So again, just using the formula. Uh, last example now. Yeah. Yep. So a coil is wrapped around an iron rod of radius five, 100 times. So you have a coil wrapped around a piece of iron. Uh, so it's wrapped around. Oh, hang on, I can do this. Indeed, a uh, hundred times, but whatever. Uh, right, so n is 100. Uh, the radius here is 5 centimeters. Um, the flux density is, come on Adnan, hang in there. You've got like two and a half minutes left and then you're free for three days. Uh, the B is 2 Tesla. Um, what is the flux linkage? So the formula for the flux linkage uh, is NBA. Yep. Now, watch carefully. What's the N here? How many areas are there? It's 100. Yeah. So it's 100 times 2. Now the area, these are actually all circles. Yeah. Pi or squared. So this would be like 200 pi times 0 0.05 squared. 1.57 Weber's in total. And then the last part is what if it's an angle of um, <coughs> what if it's an angle of 10 degrees? Yeah, so it would be 1.57 times cos 10, 1.546 Weber's. Yeah. Well, because it's 10 degrees, because remember, it's only moved slightly. Yeah. So I know, Musharif. I know I say this about every topic. This is a good one for the exam and I like it and so on. Uh, the problem with fields, I don't think it's the math so much. It's just all the terms and the definitions, you know? Electric field, magnetic field, equipotential lines, field lines, flux, flux linkage, torque, uh, carbon brushes, armature, you know, there's all these terms, and I think this is what, well, am I right? This is what you are not liking about this. But the form, there's not many formulas, and they're kind of just usual. So if you take the time to learn the terms, you know, it will be good, because you have to do this in section A anyways. Maybe you won't do it in section B, but you have to do it in section A. Yeah. Musharif. You didn't want to write any of this down? I know. Oh, okay. Is this your last class for today or you got more? A double or two hours? One hour and then break. Yeah, they break.
E oh, ESA. Oh, okay. Hour on, hour off, hour on. ESAP, right? Boot tutorial. Maybe if you're very nice to Isabel, she'll let you leave early. So I thought you were going to say, no, she won't let us leave early, but you said, no, we're not nice. <laughs> That, that means that she won't like it. Maybe you're very nice to her. Like how she should be nice. You look so well today, Isabel. Oh, really? Let's talk about it. She's going to say something like, she's going to say something like, oh, the boss is going to say something like, oh, the boss is going to say something like, oh, the boss is going to say something like, oh, the boss is going to say something like, oh, the boss is going to say something Isabel may be a bit tougher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, I won't see you now until Monday. So if you go to the parade tomorrow, have a nice time then, okay? Um, yes, you too. Um, like I said, probably <coughs> as near to the center, in particular the bridge, because what will happen tomorrow, uh, just so you know before you go, you have O'Connell Street, yeah. then you have the bridge, yeah. then it goes, what's it called? Um, Dame Street, isn't it here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then here's the Liffey. Yeah. So the reason I think this is the best spot is because people will be coming uh, from the north heading south. And um, sometimes they have little pe people that do like little shows, you know, like turning the fire or, you know, stuff like that. But the TV cameras are around here at the bridge. So if somebody is performing, they'll always stop to do a performance here because it's with the TV cameras, you know. Whereas, for example, if you're like standing here, maybe the person with the fire does his trick here and then does it again here, and because you're in the middle, you don't get to see it, you know. But that's why I said the bridge is probably the best place because if there's any performances, uh, you'll get to see them for sure because they'll have to do it for the TV because they know that they'll be on the TV. <laughs> you know? So, as near to the bridge as possible is my advice for tomorrow. Okay? Don't fall out also, the don't fall out of the huh? they're coming from the north to the south. So we Where is the south? south? Yeah, the south. Oh, so they're, they're, coming coming down. they're coming down, yeah. Uh, also, um, because it's on the TV, it's not that it's unsafe, but you know, whenever you have lots of people together and if, you know, if your wallet is sticking out of your pocket a little bit and somebody might see a chance to take it. Uh, around here would be also the safest part because of the TV presence, uh, they'll make sure nothing uh, bad happens because uh, you know, it'll be on TV which will be <laughs> broadcast worldwide. So it'll be, it would look quite bad if somebody says, that man stole my wallet, you know. Uh, so like I said, uh, so I might I watch it on the TV. So if you're on O'Connell Street and you see the TV, oh, the TV. <laughs> because I will watch it on the TV, so I might spot you. All right. Uh, okay. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you Monday. <laughs> yeah. oh, a hold up, hold up one of those signs. You know. Men's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 Visit, visit <laughs> I need.